It was the day before Valentine's Day on the lovely island of Sodor, and everyone was getting ready to celebrate the most romantic day of the year, including Mr. Melvin and his husband, Connor. It was their anniversary, and boy were they excited. Happy anniversary, dads! Cheered Taylor. Thank you, Taylor. Much appreciated. So what are you going to do on your special day? Both Connor and Mr. Melvin looked at each other. You know, I don't know. I guess we've been focusing too much on our job that we haven't found any time uh, to plan our anniversary. It has to be special too, with it being our fifth year married. Haha! <laughs> I have an idea. And with that, he went to find Clan Line, his private engine. He found the green engine getting ready to take the Wild Mall Grizzly at Knapford. Morning, Clan Line. Morning, sir. Just getting ready to take the express, like you scheduled today. I'm quite embarrassed to ask this, but... Mr. Melvin trailed off. I've been so busy, I, I, I forgot to plan my wedding anniversary. Would you kindly arrange it for us? Clan Line was shocked. Y you want me to do this, sir? Of course I'm sure. You know what we like to do. And with a turn on his heels, Mr. Melvin walked cheerfully away. Clan Line was most nervous, and it didn't take long for Daisy to notice when Clan Line was at Eldsbridge Station looking most worried. What's wrong, dear? No, no, I'm just nervous. Mr. Melvin has left me in charge to plan his anniversary date at the last minute. And I have no idea what to do. There's no need to fret, my dear. All you need to do is the traditional tunnel of love. A nice Italian dinner. And lastly, a trip down memory lane. Maybe something like the wonderful Ulfstead Castle. Isn't Ulfstead Castle closed? Oh, we'll just break in. No big deal. But wouldn't that be considered breaking and entering? While Clan Line rolled his eyes, a thought suddenly struck him. Hey, Daisy, you seem to know more about this stuff than me. Would you like to take this job? Well, I don't know. Oh, well, maybe Ed... Oh, fine. I'll do it. Don't you worry your pretty little smoke box door. I have this under control. You can just do what your private engines do best, and you look stylish. Ta-ta! Bye, darling! Said Daisy cheerfully, leaving Clan Line rather in relief. Let's hope this doesn't turn into a messy divorce situation, and I regret my decision later. Daisy was eagerly excited that she ended up talking about the date all afternoon and it was getting on everybody's nerves. Especially Rosie. Did you hear about? Yes. I heard. Thomas, Percy, Toby, Stanley, and Mavis have warned me about you not shutting up about your special. Oh, yes. It will be the most magnificent. I still think it's a bad idea. I don't think you even met Connor before. Oh, trust me, dear. I will do God's work for them. But Mr. Melvin doesn't go to church. Whatever, I'll still do one. Now, ta-ta, darling. I must not leave my lovely passengers waiting. I still think this is a bad idea. Wait a minute, you left behind. Uh, left behind the milk. Looks like I'll have to make. Looks like I'll have to do it again for the 18th time. Why do I always fall victim to this? 
Because she's done it to us so many times, we now can detect it. So, you're saying I'm gullible? Precisely. Later that night, Daisy arrived at Knapford Station. Good afternoon, sirs. Your lovely child awaits. Um, Daisy, why are you here? And where's Clanline? He said he was worried about messing up and asked me to pull your hotline express. I'm sorry, the hotline what? And, um, second of all, where is our coach? Uh, we always ride in it. Oh, don't worry. You won't need that drafty old thing when you can be in a luxury, highly sprung diesel railgun. I don't think this is gonna be a good idea. Oh, come on. It will be fun. I'll practically do marriage counting as a second job. Just kiss her already. Kiss, kiss, kiss. There we go. That's the stuff. Congratulations. You'll be married in no time. I'll even get things arranged. But, but, but I'm only 17. Then I'll make it a medieval themed wedding. No one will have such thing. Love will prevail. And that's how we got those harassment charges. I'm skeptical about this. I'll give the last a chance. I'm sure she'll try her best. Now that's the spirit. Let's go, lovebirds. But poor Connor couldn't be wrong. Clanline was resting after his run when Rosie puffed up to him. Rosie, what brings you here? Daisy is taking Mr. Nolan and Connor away. Well, that's good. Glad she didn't keep them waiting. How's that good? You're making a huge mistake. I'm sure things will be fine. Daisy has things covered. No, 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 she doesn't. She's done stuff like this before, and it's anything far from the perfect match. Oh dear. Thank you, Rosie. Now we'll probably have no shut eye tonight. I knew this was a bad idea. Meanwhile, Daisy arrived at Henry's tunnel. When the hat couple looked at the entrance, they were horrified and confused. Welcome to the Tunnel of Love! When did I agree to having decorations to Nafra Tunnel? I did it in the name of love! Oh, I can feel the love all right. What's wrong? I think it's rather cute. To me, at least. Okay, well, if you say an engine being bricked up, uh, in a tunnel for years is cute, then fine by me. When Daisy exited the tunnel, she called out to the controller. Are you guys in love yet? Um, Daisy, we've been ma- Don't say anything. She should know. We've been married for five years. I hope. Pretty soon, Daisy arrived at Farquhar, where Caroline the car was waiting. I have a first class escort waiting for you. Hello, I'm here to take you to Gina's restaurant. But isn't that an Italian place? Yeah, it's not my favorite. Have some bad memories there. You will like this. Be appreciative that this was all arranged. Not all dates have to be like Lady and the Tramp. But alright then, Lady and the Tramp, what's that? A movie we're watching after this date is over. Caroline spluttered away. Daisy was most shocked to see Mr. Melvin and Connor come back in Birdie 15 minutes later. Why are you back so soon? It was a nightmare. Alicia Body decided not to come and the short-term noticed entertainment was the Irish flute man. His notes were all pancake flat. Well, let's hope the next place you have for us is better. Well, the next idea was to break into Olsted Castle to... Daisy, take us to Clanline. But we still have more places to go. I said take us to Clanline. Now. And Daisy did what she was told. Clanline was surprised to see Daisy return with Mr. Melvin and Connor so soon. 
plane line. Why would you give Daisy your job? The date tonight was horrible. And most importantly, it wasn't catered to us. Daisy is not Cupid, no matter how much she believes it. I... I didn't feel confident, sir. You know, last minute jobs make me feel... Giddy at times. The reason why my husband chose you, Clan Light, was because you know who we are and what we like. There's still time to make this right, and the night's not over yet. Will you kindly, Clan Light, please take us on a proper date? Yes, sir, of course. I'm still nervous, though. You can't mess this up. Nor more than Daisy did. I'm right bloody here! Clanline soon took the hats on the date of their lives. First, to the School of Transportation, where they met and shared their first kiss. Then, to the Henry O's Pizza Shop for pizza dinner. And then, to Henry's Forest for a calm and peaceful walk. Hey, would you look at that? It's 12 o'clock! Happy Valentine's Day, love. Happy Valentine's Day to you too. As for Daisy's dating advice job, as you would put it, had broken up, 